Hey Savvy people, it's Savvy Nick here, and today we're going to be going through how to install Manjaro Linux 19. We'll first download it, then I'll explain how to flash it onto a disk, we'll boot that disk, and finally run through how to install it on an empty storage space of your choice. If you're new and stopping by to watch an install today, please take a moment to subscribe below and hit the notification bell for more videos. Just today we got a new release of Manjaro, and that's uh, version 19. And some updates here, if we just look through before we go to downloading. XFCE has gotten a little bit uh, polished, as they say. Um, and they changed up a little bit with the desktop and the window manager. And switched themes to a new one called Matcha. I don't know if I pronounced that right, but uh, they also made a few changes to the KD edition. It looks like they completely redesigned it for this release. That's pretty exciting, so uh, I hope to check that out here in the next coming days. They've also made some updates to the GNOME edition as well of course uh, updated the kernel to 5.4 the long-term support version and uh, PA Mac received a few updates as well. So check those out on their main website. I'll go ahead and put a link in the description below but we, what we want to do right now is go to the download section. So if you are at the uh, home you'll see the Try Manjaro or if you're somewhere else on the site, such as uh, news, you can go to the download section and it'll take you straight to downloads. So uh, as we can see here, you can keep scrolling down and get all the different desktop versions available. So there's Architect available as well as GNOME and the KD Plasma and XFCE for version 19 right now. So they're all released. Let's go ahead and just download the default version. You can go ahead and follow along with any of the versions really but uh, I'm going to get the XFCE 19 version. Following that I'm going to select the architecture that I have which is the 64-bit version. If you're looking for a legacy 32-bit version for older computers you can go ahead and click here on this button. But uh, the 64-bit version works fine for me and I don't want the minimal desktop environment so I'm going to go ahead go with the full-fledged desktop environment here and I'm going to click download as it says, it's just warning you about how Manjaro could affect your current operating system. And we're just going to acknowledge it and say, great, take me to the download. Give it a few moments here to uh, come up with the download. And here we go. We've begun downloading Manjaro. And now that I've downloaded the ISO, I'm going to launch the Belena Etcher app in order to flash the image onto a USB, CD, or DVD of my choice. So I'm just going to search for Belena Etcher here and launch it. Give it a moment. Belena Etcher is an easy to use application available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. I'll go ahead and put a link in the description below if you want to download the application. You can also use any other application that can create a bootable disk such as UNet Bootin or Rufus. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and select the image that we just got done downloading. So go ahead and select Select Image and choose Manjaro, the XFCE version 19. As you can see it was released uh, what seems to be yesterday. 224, Linux 54 here. I'm going to go ahead and select this. And I believe the Linux uh, 5.4 just stands for 5.4 version of the kernel, the long-term support version. Let's go ahead and open that up. Next we want to select a target, but before that I need to go ahead and put my USB in, so give me a moment. And once I put my USB in, it'll automatically populate here. Now if you have more than one USB, CD, or DVD, you'll go ahead and go into change and make sure you select the proper USB, CD, or DVD where you want to flash the Manjaro image onto. Just be careful because whatever USB, CD, or DVD you choose will be erased completely so that Manjaro can be flashed on it. So make sure you're selecting the proper USB, CD, or DVD. And then once you've confirmed that, go ahead and hit continue. Finally, you'll hit the flash button and that will start the flashing process after you give it administrative privileges. So go ahead and press yes. This will take a few minutes and after you flash the disk, you'll take it over to this computer or server where you want to install Manjaro Linux on and then you'll insert it. After that, you'll boot into your BIOS in order to change the boot order around and select the newly created bootable disk to be the first to boot. This is usually done by finding the correct key to boot into BIOS for your particular computer. It's usually one of the F keys like F2 or F10. And then you'll find a tab usually called boot order and exchange that order around so that the bootable disk is first. After you have that set up, you'll save and exit out of your BIOS and you should see a screen similar to this if you did everything correctly. 
All right, and if you went ahead and made it this far, please hit the like button. It really does help me out. And if you see the screen, you've successfully made it to the install portion. Uh, sometimes it will auto boot into the live image as well uh, because there's a timeout on the screen. So don't worry if you're already at the desktop. But the item I'm gonna go ahead and select is the boot Manjaro X8664 XFCE option. So I'm gonna go ahead and press enter and give it a few moments here to load up. All right, and once we're here on the live desktop environment, we will be welcome to Manjaro, where you can read about documentation support in the project. As you see here, it says it's Kyra 19. So that's great. Let's go ahead and exit out of here because this is still the live image. We want to install Manjaro. So we're gonna go ahead and select this right here where it says install Manjaro and double click on that. And then we're greeted by the Linux installer for Manjaro. What we'll do here is go ahead and select what language you want to install Manjaro with. Uh, American English is fine for me. You can select whatever language that you're happiest with and then go ahead and select next. Following that, we get to choose our time zone. Today I'll be in uh, Kentucky Monticello. And below, make sure to go ahead and set your system language as well as the locale that you wanna use. You can simply do that by hitting the change button and scrolling through the different types of locale settings available. Once you find yours, and the default for me is fine, EN underscore US, you'll go ahead and press okay. Then after you've done all that, you can go ahead and hit next. Now we get to set up our keyboard. Again, the default's great for me. I'm gonna go ahead and just make sure, confirm that everything comes out correctly. So I typed in QWERTY and I got QWERTY out. So everything's good there. We'll go ahead and erase that. And now I'll go ahead and hit next. Make sure to go ahead and pick whatever keyboard model that you have so your keyboard works and hit next. Here I have a few options. I can install alongside a different operating system as well as replace the current partition with the Manjaro 19 partition. That's if I don't wanna make any modifications to the partition that's currently there. Um, I can also erase the disk and manually partition the disk myself. So what I wanna do is I wanna make a fresh install of Manjaro 19. I don't wanna put it alongside my 18 version. So that's what I'll do. But with any of these, you want to make sure that you're very careful because you will be affecting the space on whatever disk that you currently have selected, which is selected up here. If you have more than one disk, you'll make sure to go ahead and select whatever storage device you want to go ahead and put Manjaro Linux on. Just make sure you select the proper one because all the data on the storage device will be erased in order to replace Manjaro Linux with it. With that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and select some swap space with no hibernation. And as you can see below, we're gonna create an EXT formatted partition with Manjaro and then a swap partition, 3.2 gigabytes of swap at the very end. Well, this looks all good to me. Again, be careful with any of these options because you do have the potential of screwing up whatever's currently on your disk. That's why I like to go ahead and just do a fresh install on a storage disk that I know is completely empty and not using anything else on it. I'm gonna go ahead and select the bootloader location, which the master boot record on the disk that I have currently selected, it should be the same exact disk as the one I have selected up top. And um, you have a few more other options if you wanna look through them, but you have the system partition on the root and um, not to install the bootloader. Let's say if you already have one installed, you don't wanna overwrite it. So you can select that option as well. Um, the default is fine for me. I'm gonna go ahead and select next. Then I'm gonna put my full name in, so Savvy Nick, and then the username I wanna use is Savvy Nick. The computer, I'm just gonna type in Savvy Nick-PC for me. And I'll pick PC. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put a password and confirm that password. Next, you can select to automatically log in without asking for the password. I don't suggest this because a user could just reboot your computer and they'll have access to the account. And then use the same password for administrative account. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that. Since I don't wanna create a second password, you can if you want for your root user. After you have all this set up, you can go ahead and hit next. Here we can select whether or not we want a office suite. 
I don't need an Office Suite right now. I can always install it later, but you have your choice between LibreOffice and FreeOffice. Select either one if you want them. And then press Next. Finally, we get an overview of everything that we're going to do. So all of the steps that we went through before this, and it just tells you what's about to happen. Well, make sure to look this all over, and if you agree with the changes that you want to make to the disk, you'll go ahead and hit install. And finally, you are warned one last time that the Manjaro installer is about to make changes to your disk as requested by the installer. So you will not be able to undo these changes at this point. So once you hit install now, it's going to go ahead and write everything to whatever disk that you have selected and erase everything and place Manjaro 19 on it instead. So I'm going to go ahead and hit install now since I'm ready. Manjaro Linux is a user-friendly distribution based on Arch Linux, and it deploys and offers a great user interface with tweaked desktop environments, including XFCE, KDE Plasma, and GNOME. They have a stable slash semi-rolling release model that they use and upkeep, and they have a great community and support available if you want it or need it. And on top of things, it makes Arch Linux really easy to install on your computer instead of having to go through the normal Arch Linux terminal installation, which is a great alternative to Arch Linux. We'll go ahead and give this a few minutes to finish up here. And at this point, the installer is finished. So what we'll do is go ahead and select the Restart Now option in order to restart the computer. And while rebooting, we'll want to make sure that we go ahead and remove any installation media that may be in the computer so you don't boot back into the installer or the live image of the system. Otherwise, you'll have to go ahead and shut down your computer, remove the installation media, and boot it up once more in order to get to your newly installed system. So let's go ahead and do this and hit Restart Now give it a few moments to reboot everything. All right, and once the system is booted up, you'll be greeted by the login screen. Let's go ahead and uh, pick a user, the one that we created, and put your password in. Give it a moment to load the desktop environment, and you'll be welcomed to Manjaro, which gives you some documentation information, support information, as well as how to get involved in the project. We're gonna go ahead and exit out of here. You can also check this down here in order for launch at start to be disabled, meaning this won't come back up next time you restart. And I went ahead and fixed the resolution for me, and now you can see the desktop more clearly. If you went ahead and made it this far, congratulations. You've successfully now installed Manjaro 19 on your computer. Congratulations on that. We'll go around Manjaro real quick just to view a couple things. If we click on the left-hand side, we can see the file system and all of its contents. We start in the root directory here. And then if you click the home, of course, you get the user's home directory. We'll exit out of there. On the far left-hand side, we have uh, some shortcuts to terminal and the file manager, as well as the default web browser and a mail reader. You can also scroll between other subcategories that was favorites. So you can do things as games, graphics, and uh, multimedia here. Up at the top right corner here, we can go ahead and resize this start page. And you can log out as well as switch users and lock the current screen. You also have the settings access from here. And then it tells you what user is currently logged in. On the far right hand side, we have again log out and the current time and date, as well as volume control, some power management settings. If you have a laptop computer, that's good to know. The clipboard, as well as notifications of the package manager here. You can see that uh, we do have some updates available to us. We'll go ahead and apply those later. And then the current ethernet wired connection and or if you have a wireless connection that will show up down here as well. If you right click on this Manjaro logo, you, you can go ahead and select between kernels and other options. This button on the left hand side is a quick way to go ahead and minimize all open windows and show the desktop screen. And then to the right of that, you have multiple workspaces currently two available to you that you can switch between and work on different desktops with. Well, I hope you enjoyed this installation tutorial. 
of Manjaro Linux. And if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please post them in the comments section below. Also make sure to subscribe for future videos and make sure to like the video. Thanks for watching.